Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I know right off the bat, some of you are probably thinking, Brittany, you live in San Diego, California. What do you even know about cold weather? Well, I did live on the East Coast for about eight years, but most importantly, one thing you should know about me is that I am the biggest cold weather wimp you have ever met in your entire life. Like I can't function in cold weather. So I've come up with some various adaptations over the years just to survive. I'm going to be sharing some DIY ideas and at the end, I'm also going to show you some interesting cold weather clothing items that I found on Amazon. Also, if you're interested in winning a new iPhone X, I'm giving that away in two weeks and to be entered, you have to be subscribed to my channel with the notifications turned on and also share this video. There's a share button linked down below. I will have all the other details in the description box. So with all that said, let's jump into it. The best way to hang your sweaters to avoid warped shoulders or loose fabric in the shoulder areas is using this method. So you want to fold your sweater in half lengthwise, then take a hanger and put the hook of the hanger at the armpit of the sweater, then fold over one side and then fold over the sleeves like so. Hang it in your closet and you will not have any damaged shoulders. When it comes to cold weather, hand warmers are life savers. So I'm gonna show you two different options for making your own DIY hand warmers. Option number one is to take a pair of socks, snip off the toes, fill it with rice, and then just take a needle and thread, sew that up, and you have your own very easy DIY hand warmers. Just pop them in the microwave for about 30 seconds and they will stay warm for about 15 to 20 minutes. Option number two is my personal favorite. You want to find a pair of double lined gloves or mittens. Get them one size bigger than normal. Then take the inner lining and snip a little hole about one or two inches. Fill that with a little bit of rice, just enough rice so that you can still wear them comfortably and they're not gonna be too big and bulky. Then you can sew shut or use Velcro to close the hole that you made. And just that easy, you have your own pair of heated gloves. You can pop them in the microwave, wear them, and they will keep your hands nice and toasty. This next idea is both fashionable and functional. You can make your own DIY leg warmers or boot socks by taking an old sweater that you no longer wear, cut off the sleeves. You'll want to either hem the bottom or if you don't have time for that, you can just use one of the iron-on hems to secure the edge and then put them on your calves under your boots. They're gonna add an extra layer of warmth and they also look really cute. To deal with crazy static flyaway hair, you can use a dryer sheet. All you have to do is just rub it on the top of your head and it will tame any of those crazy flyaways. Everyone has that one sweater that's so cute but you can't wear it because it's just too uncomfortable and itchy. Well, there's something very easy you can do to make it softer and more comfortable. So what you wanna do for this is turn the sweater inside out and soak it in some cold water with a few tablespoons of white vinegar. Put that in there for about 15 minutes. Then while the sweater is still wet, you want to massage a very generous amount of a high quality hair conditioner into the sweater. Then let this sit on the sweater for about 30 minutes and thoroughly rinse the sweater with cold water. Then lay it out flat to air dry and your sweater will be so much softer. If you are outside in the rain or snow and your shoes are a little bit damp when you get inside, something you can do is use silica gel packets these are in everything, so just save them up and you can just put a few packets in your boots or your shoes when you walk in the door and those gel packets are going to absorb the moisture that's in your shoes. I have a couple really easy and cute ways to spice up a boring plain beanie. The first is to take some jewelry that you're no longer wearing and you can sew that onto the front of your beanie as a really cute and easy DIY embellishment. The other thing you can do is pick up some of these faux fur poofs. I found these on Amazon really cheap and sew that onto the top of your beanie, or you could put two of them so they look like cute little ears. And it is so easy and inexpensive to make your beanies so much cuter. To keep your feet nice and toasty, you can add an extra barrier in your shoes by taking some felt or wool, cut them to the size and shape of your shoe, put it in your shoe as a DIY shoe insert, and this extra little barrier will help keep your feet significantly warmer. Now moving on to the products I found on Amazon to help you deal with cold weather. The first thing I thought was really cool is this rechargeable hand warmer. So you plug this in to a USB cord to charge it, 
and it stays warm for up to four hours. So when you go out in the cold weather, you can clutch onto this thing and it will keep your hands nice and toasty. The next thing I had to get just for the name alone, and it had good reviews, it's called Hot Feet. These are special socks with a thermal lining inside. It actually feels kind of like a mixture between fleece and faux fur. These are supposed to help keep your feet extra warm. Next thing, if you don't already know about this, you need these in your life. They are leggings that are lined with really soft, warm fleece on the inside. So not only are they really cozy feeling, they give you significantly more warmth. You can wear them under your pants. They're also high-waisted, so they protect your torso as well and give you that extra layer of insulation. Another amazing layering piece that's going to add warmth but not extra bulk is this long sleeve mock neck turtleneck by Under Armour. This has the best reviews because it has this special lining on the inside that locks in the heat. Next thing are these tech gloves. So they're gloves you can wear and still use your smartphone. There's silicone that's sewn into the fingertips of these gloves that allow you to still use your phone even when you're wearing gloves. This one's gonna seem totally ridiculous. However, if it's so cold out that the only thing that's gonna help you is basically a ski mask, this is an alternative that's a little bit more wearable Boom. So you have the hoodie that's protecting your head and your ears, and then you have this little flap that will cover most of your face. So pretty much just your eyes are showing, almost like you're wearing a hoodie. They have this in a bunch of different colors, and I personally would wear this. If it was cold enough, I would wear this. What do you guys think, clever or just too much? All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please take two seconds and give it a thumbs up. It would really help me out. And also let me know in the comments which of the ideas I showed today was your favorite, or if you have any of your own ideas, leave them down in the comments. And if you wanna see even more clothing hacks, check out the video I did a few weeks ago. It's very popular, you guys seem to really enjoy that one. I will leave it linked down below and in the end screen of this video. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Whoa, 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 hey honey, where are you going? Out. Wearing that? It's like 68 degrees outside. Yeah, you know, you're right. Much better.